Tyler vlog. I'm headed into New York City. I'm actually headed to the Fashion File showroom in Chelsea. Oh, so I'm gonna bring you guys along. So yeah, I'm headed to the Fashion File showroom in Chelsea. I have an item that I'm actually parting with. It's my Balenciaga Mini City in the metallic purple. So Fashion File has their refresh program, which means if you buy an item with them, they will repurchase it. They will buy it back from you at a set price. And so I've, I am still within the one year window of my Balenciaga Mini City in the metallic purple and I decided to sell it back for a couple of reasons. I don't feel like it's wearing as I would like. I'm headed through the Holland Tunnel, well, into the Holland Tunnel now, so. So, back to what I was saying. I was hesitant to buy it initially because of the metallic finish. That is what I will suggest with you guys. If you're purchasing a bag, a leather bag, um, and you want it to be like a bag you have long term, I would stay away from metallic finishes on leather. I, it just doesn't wear at some point the metallic finish or the color, whatever, starts to rub. And I'm seeing tiny spots of that happening on this bag. I want to replace it before it gets too bad. Sucks um, because the Balenciaga Mini City was a bag I would have kept for, like, I would have really kept for a long time. So, um, it's like a strategic, like, I'm going to sell it while I'm still within this refresh program window and get something I'd rather have. It took me a long time to come across that Balenciaga Mini City in a price point that I was, like, happy with and in the condition I was happy with. So, I really would like to just replace it with another Balenciaga Mini City. Um, but... I'm also interested, but in regular leather, no metallic finish. I'd just like to replace it. So, but speaking of Balenciaga, <laughs> there's been a new bag added to my um, wish list. And I'll put a picture here so you guys can see what this bag is. Um, this is one of their newer releases. And honestly, I've been low key eyeing it, but I kind of want it now. I might sell another bag today. I'm getting a quote. I've never done this in person. So I want to get that new bag, but now I'm going to be hunting for the new Balenciaga. So I've never sold in person. So I'm curious to see the showroom. Um, I'm going to take you guys along and I'm also excited to see the the process of like selling in person. So I already have the quote kind of secured for the refresh. Let's go to the fashion file showroom and see what happens. I've made it to the fashion file authentication center and showroom. I was waiting while my items were being authenticated for sale. This showroom was absolutely breathtaking and such a beautiful location. the cages where the items are stored. The showroom was amazing. I literally felt like a kid in a candy store.
part is that they had that Balenciaga bag that I am eyeing. So I was able to try it on. I need you guys to comment below and let me know what you think. at one of my favorite restaurants, Sugarfish. I ordered the Trust Me, which is like a prefix meal of their best sushi. location has this super cozy waiting area upstairs. I just finished lunch at Sugarfish. I'm in Flatiron now, so I left Chelsea. Chelsea's where the Fashion File showroom is, and it was absolutely gorgeous. I went to the actual sales room and tried on that. Hi. I tried on that Balenciaga bag, the one that I'm like thinking about. They actually had it there. What are the odds of that? I left Chelsea and I came to Flatiron for lunch at Sugarfish. The Flatiron location is the first Sugarfish they um, opens up in New York. And so, yeah. Now I'm going to one of my other favorite New York City spots. I think I've finished it before in another video, but it's around the corner, so it only makes sense that we go. So yeah, just walk with me. Today. Dole Donuts is definitely one of my favorite spots in NYC. What makes their donuts so special is that it's made with a brioche style dough, which makes it a lot more fluffy and more rich than your traditional donut. I got my favorite, which is the Dulce de Leche. In traffic right now waiting to go into the holland tunnel and head back to new jersey i am done with my new york city day outing for the day i had such a cool day actually it was super cool seeing the showroom at fashion file i'll definitely be heading back um to do some shopping so next time i go i am going to schedule a shopping appointment but yeah it was like a super smooth transaction so i ended up selling my balenciaga mini city so that is gone um, they, you know, do the complete the transaction right there. So they just inspect it and confirm it's the original bag. And then they, um, like I signed my contract to sell it and I sold it. So the Balenciaga Mini City is no longer in my handbag collection. It's officially gone. I am going to be replacing it with another Balenciaga bag. I would like to get a Balenciaga Mini City in just like regular leather or I am interested in the Balenciaga bag that I tried on. If you guys saw that, let me know what you think in the comments section below. I might purchase that exact one. 
We'll see. We will see. It's hot. <laughs> it's so hot and my hair is so thick and hot. But I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely hit that thumbs up button if you like New York City vlogs. If you want to see more New York City vlogs, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all the things. Thank you. Until next time, guys.